you saying guys Exalted here back with another Dragon Ball Sparking Zero video. In this video we're going to be going over the super counter. As always please like and subscribe and let's get into it. When it comes to the super counter maneuver what we have to understand is this is timing based. We have to time it at the right time. The piccolo exercise is okay but ideally in a match we're not going to want to be getting hit right. So I feel like the best way to do it is to block during the piccolo exercise and time the super counter to kind of parry his last attack. You can kind of hear like an audio cue. Piccolo makes a certain sound when he does his last attack. You want to time it for that and try and parry that. After we've done that, we want to go into training mode, training settings, and then we want to go to opponent settings and then rush chains. This says it's useful for high speed evasions, but I found this even more useful when trying to practice the super counter. The reason why we're doing this is we're trying to get used to the character's strings and finding the right opportunity to time our super counter. Once we do this, we'll have a greater success rate of landing it more times. If the opponent switches up the block string, then we might have to go for different defensive maneuvers. But if they're very repetitive in a the match, then we have more of a chance of landing the super counter at the right time. That's it for the video guys. The super counter is quite a hard thing to do. So I feel like it's gonna take a lot of time, muscle memory, and just learning character strings as you go on. And you'll get a greater feeling of what to do and when to counter at the right time. As always, please like and subscribe and I'll catch you guys in the next one.